Now it's time to take a blood sample or capillary sample. One of the advantages about AlphaTrack 2 is that it only needs a small sample, a tiny speck, and getting a sample gets easier every time you do it. Most pet owners become comfortable obtaining a sample after about three to five times. On cats, the best site to obtain a capillary blood sample is in the marginal ear vein or the paw pad. On dogs, in addition to the marginal ear vein and the paw pad, the elbow callus or the inner lip also works well. The best site depends on each individual pet. It helps to find at least two capillary sampling sites that work well for your pet. Ask your veterinarian to help select the site that works best. The AlphaTrack Starter Kit includes everything you need to get started. But before we get to Nemo, let's get everything set for the test. Take the meter, test strip vial, lancing device, and lancets out of the pouch. Check the test strip expiration date. Now let's get to Nemo and get his test site ready. If you choose the marginal ear vein and it's hard to see, it may help to use a flashlight to see the vein better. And here's a good tip. When you first start testing your pet, it may help to get them used to the lancing device sound, so try holding it close to their ear and pressing the button before performing the test. To get the blood flowing, warm the sample site by gently rubbing, applying a warm cloth, or a bag or sock filled with rice that has been warmed in the microwave for 20 seconds. If you're having trouble getting the blood to form into a drop, it may help to apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly to the test site prior to testing. Some pet owners whose pet have long hair find it helpful to shave the small testing area. Now we're ready to get the blood sample. Press and hold the lancing device near the ear vein and push the release button. Applying pressure to the test site may help with the formation of a blood drop. Let's look at how to get a blood sample from other areas on a dog. First up, the paw pad, which could be used on both dogs and cats. When lancing a paw, Find an area on the side of the paw that your pet doesn't step on. Press and hold the lancing device to the paw pad and push and release the button. In dogs, you can also use the elbow callus. Once again, press and hold to the callus to get an easy sample. Finally, you can get a capillary sampling from the inner lip. Hold the dog's lip out, press and hold the lancing device to the inner lip and release the button. Again, another good place to get a quick sample. Now that we know how to get a sample, let's see how to do a test. It's quick and easy. Once you've got a sample, turn the meter on by inserting the strip into the meter port. Quickly confirm that the code on the meter matches the code on the test strip vial. Touch one test strip sample area to the blood drop until you see the short lines moving clockwise on the meter display or you hear a beep. This means the test strip has enough blood and you will see results within seconds. And here's a good tip. If your blood drop was too small, you may add more blood to the same test strip sample area for up to 60 seconds. Make sure you add blood to the same side of the test strip though. And we got a reading. It looks like Nemo's blood glucose level is in the normal range. Now apply gentle pressure with gauze or cotton to stop the bleeding if necessary. Make sure to dispose of your used lancet and the test strip. This might be a good time to give your pet a diabetes friendly treat as a reward. That's it. It's easy. Thousands of pet owners use AlphaTrack 2 for their pet's diabetes. In fact, you can hear other user stories in their testimonial videos. If you have specific questions, you can find FAQs, user manuals, and troubleshooting guides at alphatrackmeter.com. And you can always call this number or your veterinarian with any questions or concerns. Thank you for choosing AlphaTrack 2 and best wishes to you and your pet.